Hi there. Today I'd like to talk to you about something very mysterious. In Sanskrit the word for it is Maya, which encompasses many sort of thoughts all together. Maya can mean illusion. Maya could be another name for the mind. <coughs> to give you an example of this, this is the second ta video I've made of this. The first one never recorded for some strange reason. Maya means illusion in the sense that whatever you think about what you see is an illusion compared to the real reality. The real reality is that God is everywhere. Sometimes the thoughts that we have are compared like waves on the ocean in the sense that uh, it's a moving something that makes the water appear as a wave on the ocean. So one of the questions people ask to people trying to figure this out is, is the water that's moving as a wave on the ocean part of the ocean? Well, yes and no. It is water that's connected to the ocean, but it's different from the rest of the ocean. And like that, our perception of the universe is a moving thought in our mind. You may have, in your own experience, gone past a building, and then maybe a month, a year, ten years later, you go past it, the building's gone. It's been torn down. Maybe something's been built, but maybe something hasn't. It's just bare dirt. Question for you. Did the building ever really exist? Unless you have a photograph, you'd begin to doubt your mind even. So everything is illusionary in the sense that it had a beginning, it existed, and then it ended. That what the, everything that does that is illusionary. Everything that has a beginning, has an end, is an illusion. So to think that this body is you is one of the greatest delusions. It's when you really understand that emotionally is that your desire for things changes and you want something more permanent. When you understand that God is the thing that is real beneath all this, then thoughts like, well, so then everything is full of energy. Everything is conscious in some way, just like we are conscious. We don't see the consciousness of the plants and the animals and the rocks. But there is a consciousness, it has to be, because God is the nature of consciousness. This is a hard subject to understand. And maybe I'll come back to it some other time in a different way. Suffice it to say, Maya is very mysterious. Thank you.